what's up everybody it's your boy moses and you're welcome to the channel uh if you're a new subscriber you're welcome again my name is moses i'm a musician producer and i'm an audio engineer and i do make videos on youtube about music gears and stuff and if you're a returning subscriber again welcome happy new year to you and your family and i hope you're going to be loving this video today in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the new addition to the studio the sl88 studio so i unboxed this uh product a few days ago uh, i think that was the last video from my channel last year 2021 so if you're wondering where the unboxing video is just click the link above me right now on my top left corner i think it is supposed to be on the left corner yeah i think so you know what it's gonna pop up right now just just click on it yeah and you see the unboxing video where i unbox it and you know take it out of the box talk about what the things that came with it so i'm not gonna go over all those things that came with it again i'm just gonna go straight into what the keyboard has to offer so in today's video let's just talk about the keyboard you know what i'm saying it's 88 keys have you waited uh really nice keyboard right i've tried it out a couple of times uh i've had a keyboard for like a month now or i think it's like a month now but i've never really been able to review it for you guys so i've been working on it i've been doing post productions and stuff on the keyboard and you know i just want to share what the keyboard is my opinion about the keyboard to you if it is the right one for you you can pick it up pick it up if it is not the right one for you yeah i just want to talk about it all right so black finish really nice I, I love this whatever it is that the, the material is and i think the interface is really cool it comes with a software of its own i'm going to be showing you guys that the pitch bend right here the first one is the pitch bend uh the modulation right here and this one is assignable to whatever you want to assign it to cut off resonance in which direction if you want the x y direct if you want the x direction to be cut off or you want the y direction to be honestly whatever it is that you want it to be it can do that for you you just have to assign it in the software which i'm about to show you guys uh it comes with a sustain pedal i already talked about that did not come with a usb cable right again something to note did not come uh, with a USB cable, I don't know if it is my own or if it is uh, every other thing is, but there is no USB cable to connect to your computer with it. So I have to use the one I currently have. Uh, what the, whatever the other thing I'm plugging in here is my expression pedal. Uh, I'm still having trouble to get that to work. I'm going to be talking about that. So in, without further ado, let's get right into the video. One thing to note is that you have to, when you plug this in, uh, after many tries for me, I realized that I had to use the LSL Studio Port 2. You can see my screen right now. I'm sharing my screen. You see LSL Studio Port 2. That's the only way you get it to connect. And you click on the connect right here. So once you do that, you're able to connect this thing to it and then you can use the software to control it. So the moment you do that, uh you will realize that on this uh, i don't think my second camera right here is going to capture this but uh on the screen here you cannot use this to control the midi controller anymore you have to use it's going to tell you uh attention please use the editor so that means you have to use the editor to be able to uh edit whatever it is that is going on in here so you can edit everything if you want to turn off or like four parts you want to split anything you want to do right now i'm only using one you know one part which covers from uh you know a0 to c8 right the 88 keys that's what i'm doing uh i'm assigning i'm assigning the the stick to pitch band modulation and also uh the cutoff and of course resonance so again the x y direction right if you did a little mathematics in school you say the x is like this and the y is like this so you remember on your uh for this one right now this is how going from here to here will be your your pitch bend and going from here to here right hop and down will be your modulation right not x and y right and sorry not x and x 
but only in the y direction. But here it's only the x direction, not the y direction, unless you set it up to be in the other way, right? You can set it up and choose whatever you want it to be. So you see what I'm talking about? The x parameter is the pitch bend and the the y parameter, you can even do whatever you want, whatever you want with it, all right, with the y parameter. So I'm only using the x parameter on this one. Uh, let's talk about the feel of the keyboard. Uh, as I mentioned in my uh, unboxing video that the keyboard that comes with this is the TP100LR. I think I made a mistake, which I corrected with the lower thought that came with the video uh, in my previous video talking about what kind of keyboard is it. But the keyboard that comes with this is the TP100LR, uh, which is the same that comes with the Arturia Mark III Kila Betier, they call it. Fortunately, a good people at Special Sonics, the Keyscape people, they made some preset for that very keyboard. So, which means I can just pull up the velocity cough preset on that uh, Keyscape and be able to play this thing naturally. And I hope it should feel naturally. So let's let's go into this. Uh, you know, let's go into Logic and see what kind of sound we can get with this. All right. So as you can see, see on my screen, I have Logic open and I'm using Keyscape right now on the screen uh, using the custom LA custom C7 natural words, which I kind of tweak again to kind of suit my own style or whatever sound I want to hear. If you click on settings right here, you will see where the velocity curve of different MIDI controller is. Some people don't even know this thing exists. So maybe you've just been playing Keyscape or, you know, with your MIDI controller, you don't even know the right velocity curve for your MIDI controller exists. So I'm going to show you guys what is inside of this. So you have different keyboard makers and uh, Roland, Akai, Casio, whatever. And if you click on the arrow in the front of it, you see even more products that you can choose from. So like I said, this keyboard is the same as the Arturia Kila bit yet. So I'm just going to click on that. one. So click on that. It's already there anyway. That's why you don't see any changes on the velocity curve. So let's see. Got some EQing on this, a little bit of reverb uh, on it. Of course, a limit at the end just to make sure we don't clip anything in case this becomes so loud. So let's see what we have. Uh, what key should we play in? Let's start from C sharp. Let's turn off the reverb first. Let's turn off the reverb and just hear the natural sound of the piano. Yeah, I think there's still some reverb inside of the... Let's turn it all the way down. Yeah, all right, there's the natural sound. Had on any mistake, this keyboard is really heavy and I'm not used to it from the old one that I normally play, which is right behind me right there, if you can see from any of the cameras, right? But it still feels really good. I just get it. I just need to get used to it. Even after having this in the, in, in the house for like, oh, almost a month now, it still feels a little different, right? I think it's really nice. I think the velocity goes from really soft to very hard if you want to, right? All right, you can see that. All 
Sorry, let's turn on let's turn on the reverb now. Okay, let's see, let's see. Good ref shop. That's nice. I mean, come on. Let's try another sound. See what I'm saying? Ah, it's really so heavy. I mean, that's another sound on this. Uh, let, let's try something for for solo. Let's say we're trying to do a synth solo or something like that. See how flexible this will be. <laughs> That's the modulation right here. <laughs> Let's try guitar distortion. Let's see if I want to solo like a guitar player. Can I cannot do it on this keyboard? <laughs> Let's 
called Sample Thank by I Came Out The Media. They came up with this stuff. Uh, this is nice. I, I know this keyboard comes with Aftertouch. Let's try that out and see how that works. For those who don't know what Aftertouch is, when you play something, the more you apply pressure to the keyboard, the more it gives you a variation of sound. It's something similar to what modulation does, but in a different way. It's depending on how hard you press it or how soft. So let's try Omnisphere out and see what kind of patches we can get to try out the aftertouch effect. See this? Yeah, that, that is the aftertouch. So I think it's a good deal. If you can get it on sale from some of these markets right now, I think you will love it. Uh, if you like the video, please make sure you like, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, let's chat. If you want any of the preset that I use, that's fine as well. Just let me know in the comment below and we can make something work. Thank you so much for checking. And if you are not subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe. Uh, support the channel and plenty of goodies and good stuff coming as well on the way we're working on more content for the new year so please make sure you subscribe and share with somebody that you think will enjoy and benefit from this video all right i'll see you in the next video and until then stay safe and you know what see you later peace Bye.